Let me tell you something. Having a big push from a label does not make you great. Yeah. Having, and, and, and to me, doesn't mean that you're my competition or you're not my competition. If everybody can have a number one, then why and why not everybody have one? Why is that? Why if, there's there's other labels? They got a lot of money. Why can they buy their artists number one? Why can they buy their artists success? I want to thank all my fans, my family that supported me, all the love, all the love that my fans, that my friends, that everybody shows me is genuine, is beautiful. And that's something that God give me that you can't buy, bitch. Let's talk about the Drake thing. It like it, it hits me in a really sensitive place because you like hang around people and they come to your house and be around your family and this and that. And then they get mad about a beat and then send you purple demon emojis. And it's like what I was saying earlier is like I don't play like that. I don't. You know, ain't nobody got no beef. Ain't nobody going to jail. For anybody like, that just tuned in, you're saying yeah. that this is what happened between you and Drake. Yeah. But all right. After Kanye gave us the tea. Drizzy then seemed to confirm it all by doing what? Posting purple demon emojis and adding a laughing emoji. And they get mad about a beat and then send you purple demon emojis. And Even a G, I told her don't win on three fifties round me. Ice. Even a G, I told her don't win on three fifties round me. In terms of a pop star, you are so corny. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I just feel as though she's a secret mean girl. One person in our hot topics meeting says. As soon as she takes off those clothes, there's nothing going on but a boy. And I was like, wow. Invites her fans to her house. Well, that's because Taylor Swift is weird. Taylor Swift uh, was there in her new platinum blonde hair. (laughs) Now, what, 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 you don't like it? I don't like the dress, I don't like the lipstick, and I don't like the hair. Kim posted a super hot nude selfie on Twitter back in March, and Chloe was not feeling it. When she tweeted, quote, I truly hope you realize how important setting goals are for young women, teaching them we have so much more to offer than just our bodies. And fired back saying, quote, let's all welcome Chloe G. Moretz to Twitter since no one knows who she is. Your nylon cover is cute, boo. Him or me be for real, baby, it's a no-brainer. You got your mind on loose. While Justin did not name this mystery man, some fans on Twitter were quick to suggest that Justin was shading Sean, mainly because Sean was the last guy linked to Haley before she said yes to Justin's proposal. Do you uh, do you look at a kid now like Sean Mendez and think like, man, I wish you know, it was going through what he's going through now with what I know now? Who's Sean Mendez? Oh, <laughs> he's ten a- seconds of sorry, Justin Bieber. Uh, I never never heard that song. Sorry. Amanda. I want to say to all the girls out there, like, I know it's cool to be bad. It's also possible to make it in Hollywood without a reality show. And um, when I came up in this business, if you made a sex tape, you were embarrassed and you hid it under your bed. If you took naked pictures of yourself on your cell phone, you hide your face, people. Like, hide your face. You so famously and so powerfully said, George Bush doesn't care about black people. It makes me wonder what makes you think that Donald Trump does, or any people at all. Why don't we take a break? We'll come back and uh, Kanye West. You want me to repeat? No. Well, wh- why don't we do this? Let's take a quick break. Uh, no, when we no, come back, no, we're going to no, get No, 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 no. We're not going to Jimmy Kimmel the situation. No, we're going to come right back. No, no, we're not going to come right back. Okay. We're not going to Jimmy Kimmel the situation. Fair enough. <laughs> why aren't we going to Jimmy Kimmel the situation? I always thought interrupting somebody in the middle of speaking was called a Kanye West. I didn't know it was a me. You ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got the answers. You ain't got the answers. My point is, what I want the world to know about Nicki Minaj is when you hear Nicki Minaj spit, Nicki Minaj wrote it. thank the person who inspired this song who knows exactly who he is because now I got one of these thank you so much the best fans are in New York we were lucky enough to win three VMAs we were lucky enough to win 
Tyga isn't the only celeb that wasn't too excited to learn about Kylie's relationship with Travis Scott. Travis's ex-girlfriend, who happens to be the amazing Rihanna, also had a couple of negative things to say about the happy couple. An inside source reported that Rihanna thinks that it's tasteless of Kylie to go after her ex-boyfriend. Rihanna has even been telling her friends that she can't believe that Travis chose to go after Kylie when- Have you talked to him since he's been gone? No. Yes. Yeah, a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing okay? Yeah, he's good. <laughs> Are you lying? No, genuinely. Okay, why are you laughing then? <laughs> because it's you could cut the tension in it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, this one just has my name on it, right? Uh, can you listen to a weekend song? If no, it comes no, on, I can't listen to a weekend song. You can't? Why not? That's just whack. Is it? You got replaced The brown boy and the star boy on the track It is gonna say this shit is whack That shit's whack She will forever be a little girl to me. Even when she hits notes and sings about love, like what do you know about love? That's, it's just, a, I guess, a stereotype for somebody who's like four feet 11 and with, with big googly eyes. I mean, <laughs> Snooki, like Snooki is four feet 11, but Snooki comes off as a woman. One thing you don't know about Ariana Grande is that she literally sings everything. Like yes. she's, she's starting to forget how to talk in her own voice because she sings everything. And it's a good thing because she's a beautiful voice, but it's awesome. She sings absolutely everything. She never stops. That's so true, Liz. You sing a lot too. Like, I, especially during the whole thing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I guess that's true. I, I sing. We've got Justin Bieber. <laughs> I like your swoop. Uh, the weekend. And ASAP Rocky. And the long so we went to um, we went to this uh, restaurant called The Lilas. Mm. It's not a restaurant. It's kind of like a jazz bar. I've heard so much about it from Todd that Leo DiCaprio goes there. Yeah, it's, like it's so big, it's hip. like a celebrity hotspot. Like um, anyway, so the, the the weekend had a table. The weekend, the singer had a table right next to us, uh -huh. and um, he walks up to us. He walks up to Scott. He walks up to the. Uh, he walks up to Scott, our friend, uh, and he puts his hand on his shoulder, and he goes, "I want your table, so I'm gonna take it." That's what he fucking says to Scott. He said that? He said, I want your table, so I'm going to take it. And Scott couldn't recognize him because he's kind of difficult to recognize because, you know, he's, he just looks like a chubby kid. Um, right. I hope he's listening to this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and Scott, I think Scott goes, fuck off. Really? Yeah, like, like who are you? Like, who, like who, what the fuck is going on? Because Scott didn't know who he was. Hey. And the weekend leaves. And, um, and five minutes later, um, the people that are working at the bar or at the club come over to us and like we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna move your table over one one side this way what a douche Fuck the weekend <laughs> well Fuck the weekend i don't like that at all so amanda cerny who's been a playboy playmate she blew up on vine is now blowing up on youtube Whether they rose together well, she made accusations against lele pons and posted text messages that seemed to confirm that lele went into her account deleted tons of amanda's most popular videos untagged her private her account so she couldn't get new followers essentially sabotaging her and if the text messages are real it seems like lele owns up to it at the end saying i'm so sorry about that if you so she was just supposed to be my best friend, and then all of a sudden, we never fought once in our entire friendship. I was always there for her, and then now, like, she, I found out that she did this, and I found out, like, a month and a half ago that she was deleting all of my successful videos on Instagram and on YouTube, and putting my account on private, and tagging me in photos. What's up with you and Layla now? Um... I haven't talked, that's like, you know, oh no! For me, it's like, I'm over it. I forgive her for what she did to Love me. It. Like, Love it. Even though she never genuinely apologized, like, I hope she grew from that experience too and that she was able to become a better person from it. I will take during Fifth Harmony's performance at the VMAs when the girls blasted a fake Camila Cabello off stage. <laughs> Songwrite was Taylor Swift. I listened to so many of her lyrics and they connected with me so much and I just love the idea of, you know, writing music 
to be a soundtrack for your life for you to listen to when you're older about certain experiences. Oh. I'd be a cactus emoji for many reasons. Thank you. It's a casual Thursday, us in the desert in really, really glammed up clothes posing. Um, that was a joke. Nobody laughed at it. But, um, oh. really, 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 really okay. like you. I ain't been getting high Well, maybe a little, baby I don't wanna lie